Hey guys! So in this video I just wanted to talk about my reading year for 2014. In 2014, as of filming this a few days before the end of the year, I've read 67 books. 13 of those books were actually published in 2014, and 4 of them were published before 1900. The oldest book being Anderson's Fairy Tales, which was written in 1837. Not included in the 67 books that I read were 5 books that I did not finish. That includes Gulliver's Travels, A Tale of Two Cities, The Voyage Out, A Portrait of the Artist as a Young Man, and The Big Burn. None of them are books that I own physical copies of. Four of them were ebooks, and one of them was a book I started to read at work, but then got really busy and I haven't had a chance to continue, and I probably won't. The four ebooks are all classics that I just wasn't really enjoying that much and decided not to continue. Out of the books that I did read, 23 of them were books that I own currently, and one of them is a book that I have already given away. 18 of them were ebooks. I borrowed 6 of them, and 19 I read at work. The most recent book that I read at work was in July. I've continued to be pretty busy due to a promotion, so I don't really think I'll get another chance to read a lot of books there. 9 of the books are on my diverse works list on Goodreads, which just means that it's written by someone of color, or it's about people of color, or even about homosexual people, and just anyone who is considered diverse from at least my experience. Five of those nine books were by Sherman Alexie. I read 30 books by men and 37 by women, which I think is excellent. Out of the five books that I didn't finish, only one of them was by a woman and the other four were by men. And only one of them was written after 1920. At the end of 2013, I had 130 unread books on my shelves. At the end of 2014, I had at least 143 unread books. So, since only 9 of those books have been on my shelves since before I started booktube a few years ago, and the total of unread books has only gone up 13 last year, I'd say that's an improvement over 100 books. I definitely want to increase the ratio of diverse works to non-diverse because it's just very important that everyone is represented and everyone has their story told and can see themselves in literature. And I think that's one of the greatest things about reading is that you get to experience other people's lives and it opens up a whole new world of understanding and compassion. The first big step that I really took towards my goal to read more diversely was to create the diverse works list on Goodreads. So you can feel free to look through that if you want to and give me any suggestions questions for obvious things that I'm missing that you think I'd enjoy. And I also have a high priority list on Goodreads, and I've added all the books that I own, either physical copies or ebooks, that are also on my diverse shelf to my high priority list. Though I am glad that the ratio between men and women is fairly even, and I'm actually not really that surprised that I've read slightly more women than men, since I just kind of naturally gravitate towards female writers and I think it's something that's been on my mind longer than reading diversely, but I am going to make a concerted effort, if that's the right phrase, towards reading more diversely. But I do also have the goal of reading books that are already on my shelves, and a lot of them are by white people. But I am hoping that 2015 will be an improvement from the nine books on my diverse shelf. From 2014. Out of the 46 books on my high priority shelf, 16 of them are in my diverse shelf. So I'll definitely see if I can continue to improve that by the end of 2015. So let me know what your reading life was like in 2014 and any interesting things you learned about the way you read along the way. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.